Welcome to Global Supply Chain Management course. Global Supply Chain is conceived as a function of international business and supply chain management. Here in this course we will provide a better understanding how these two ideas, the idea of international business and supply chain management are interrelated and also we will discuss the importance for international trade and global competitiveness. In this course we will use the following text. The title of the text is Global Logistics and Supply Chain Management written by Mangan, Lalwani and Butcher. We will cover the following topic. There will be eight modules. The module one will be related to global supply chain management its definition review and critic and that covers in chapter one in module two we will cover globalization and international trade and that covers in chapter two and our first assignment will be from this topic module three will be supply chain strategies and planning and that is covered in chapter 3 of our text and the first case study is covered from this topic then module 4 will be logistic service provider or the customer service and that is covered in chapter 4 our assignment 2 will be from this topic module 5 is related to procurement outsourcing and collaboration and this topic is covered in chapter 5 and our case study 2 is coming from this topic module 6 cover in inventory models in supply chain and that is in chapter 6 and assignment 3 will be from this topic module 7 deals with information flow and technology and that is in chapter 9 and our case study 3 will be covered from this topic and finally in module 4 we will cover global supply chain security risk and catastrophe and this topic is primarily covered in chapter 12 and we will have the final exam we'll have only one exam that exam topic will be covered from these modules and later on we'll describe exactly what are the modules we will cover in our final exam but if we have little extra time we will also want to cover supply chain innovation and change management social responsibility and ethics in supply chain and globalization then future of logistics the future challenges and opportunities that these are some of the additional topic we will try to incorporate in our class now besides the textbook chapters we will also provide some of the journal articles related to this topic covered in the module and we will provide those journal articles once we are discuss a particular topic in a module in IET 472 this is our undergrad course we will have three assignments each 10 points that covers 30 points and three case studies each 10 point that covers again another 30 points so our midterm would be the average of first four assignments basically first two assignments and two case studies and our terminal exam or final exam will cover 25 points and there will be a course project the students are encouraged to use or extend or analyze some of the topics that we will cover in our lecture to write their course project now course project cannot be just simply from book or the journals directly taking the ideas from rather students need to use some of their own understanding and one data to support their course project 
Now in IET 672, this is our graduate course and we will have eight assignments or case studies and each 10 point that covers 80 points and there will be no final exam for IET 672 but there will be a research paper or project and that is 20 points. S students in graduate course are encouraged to read the journal articles that I will provide throughout this course in order to develop their own research paper or project and we will describe some of the criteria and the format of the paper presentation in our later classes. Now what we understand here is the students need to provide their viewpoints in international trade and or the global supply chain management in their research paper or course project. The next is the grading. As usual we will use 90 to 100 for A and 80 to 89 for B, 70 to 79 for C and 60 to 69 for D and rest are not credited. Now let's look at the supply chain and its relationship to global networks. Now supply chain is the network of organizations that are involved in terms of different processes and activities with an objective to produce some values in the product like values in terms of a new product or a service and that ultimately reach to customer side. So basically supply chain is a networking of the organizations that can be in upstream in downstream linkage but their sole purpose is to interlink and connect to develop some of the values in the product through different process and activities. Now the supply chain has two phases. One is the supplier side and another is the customer side. Now the supply chain management would be the management across the network and to maintain the organizational flow, the flow of the material, flow of information, maybe flow of different type of resources from this supplier side to customer side in other words we can also call it from upstream side to downstream side and that brings some values some create some additional worth in the product and then the global supply chain we understand is a network the network of different types of business entities that actually operate from different countries if the networking covered more than one countries then the supply chain of that networking is called the global supply chain. Since the global supply chain handles the international or different countries in a network so the international trade is very directly related to global supply chain management. Therefore the international trade their practices and their competitiveness will depend on how we manage the global supply chain. So we can derive a definition for global supply chain which is an integrated process where several business entities such as suppliers, manufacturers, distributors and retailers work together to plan, coordinate and control the flow of materials or parts or the finished products from suppliers to customer. And this supply chain is named as a global the, with the reason that the entire supply chain network handles the businesses that operate at different countries or countries more than one countries. The term supply chain management originates in 1980 and since then it's widespread the logistic and supply chains has become the part of our everyday life so these two aspects are extremely fascinating in terms of 
trading and international trading. If we look at the products that we are purchasing every day, you will be amazed the types of the products that we have to handle. So the logistics and supply chain thinking is very important to manage all these business aspects and our everyday needs. But particularly the logistics and supply chain management is originates from the manufacturing context but we overpasses the manufacturing concept only we also now use some service concepts and international trade aspects in our supply chain and logistics management